tēnā tā tau katoa e te whānau e aku nui e aku rahi i roto i ngā tini a huatanga o te wā. Tēnei a hau, heuri o kaharau, heuri o rāhiri, ko te rata tōia e mihikaua tū ki i au tātou. Kia ora everybody. I want to look at, in this video, two different issues. The first one is about educational choice. I personally believe in the kura haurua model. I have since I first heard about it. This idea that families and communities can take an active charge and actively participate in their children's education, building, funding, making schools and directing completely the direction of those schools without any intervention okay without someone over here telling them what they've got to do that they can do it themselves i think that's amazing because i myself i'm saying it right here right now i want to open such a school one day in the future and so for me to hear that um a high school that i attended for five years is denying opportunities to kids who want to attend a kura haurua in my um, home rohe of Te Taitoke Rau, um, especially where I grew, grew up in Whangarei, that really makes me sad to know that Whangarei Boys High School is denying opportunities to students. I mean, never mind the fact that that school cemented my knowledge and understanding of Te Ao Pākehā and how ignorant it is of Te Ao Māori, but now that same kura how many years later, eight years later, is denying opportunities for Māori students? You know, the same kura that has had the token marae and the one Māori department and had 30% Māori students but only three Māori staff when I was at high school now is doing the same sort of stuff or is being advised by the PPTA to do the same sort of stuff. Totally unacceptable. My hope is that the teachers think for themselves and realize that this is not about political ideology, this is not about your personal political feelings, because I'm sorry, but when you enter into a covenant, into a trusted position, you know, into a profession where you have to serve the wider community, your politics and your beliefs, leave that at home, leave that at the door, okay? And realize that you're there for a job and that's to educate rangatai, to educate taohi, to lift achievement and to make sure especially that Māori and Pacifica youth are achieving um, on par with the rest of New Zealand's kids, okay? So Whangarei Boys High School, wake up and realise that you guys need to think for yourselves. Stop letting the PPTA tell you what to do and give equal opportunities. Share the resources, okay, with all schools that want to use those resources. You guys are just custodians. You guys aren't the be all and end all. You should just make sure that you are sharing and collaborating to make sure that the youth of Whangarei have the best opportunities in terms of education. So that's my first whakaro, my first kōrero for the day. Um, second kōrero is about me as a Ngāpuhi. I started off saying that I'm an uri of Rahiri and his son Kaharau. I grew up on my marae of marae roa in Ngāti Korokoro under my maunga of Firia and I swam in my awa awa pokonui. My nan still lives on the banks of that river and the ahika of my hapu are still looking after that marae. As such, I have strong links and go home as much as I can. That's a really special place for me. That being said, I'm looking at wider iwi issues. And the biggest iwi issue facing right now is the fact that we have some historical grievances. We have some things that need to be redressed that are, you know, 200 years old. And they need to be redressed and addressed effectively. And of course, as part of that, the pattern that the Crown has done is that there is some compensation that comes. Um, certain figures have been mentioned, certain figures have been named, and so whoever's going to be managing that um, 
has to have the right governance structures in place, has to have the right people in place, has to have the management skills and the skills in governance to manage that because this is potentially the biggest investment, the biggest thing that could happen for Te Whare Tapu o Ngāpuhi me o Nauri. And that's a massive, massive place. 130,000 New Zealanders here and across the world, Whakapapa to Ngāpuhi. And as such, it's an iwi authority that I personally believe needs to be um, speaking for us. I trust all of the people um, that are going to be on Tuhurunuku. And this has been a long thing since I was 18. I remember we got our papers, you know, and there was the voting in 2011. I acknowledge the fact that 2% of the whole population, 2.5% of the whole population um, of Ngāpuhi, and that's interesting too because, uh, anyway, 2.5% said, no, 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 no. And um, they're getting their voices a little bit loud in the media right now. That's sweet as. 2.5%? What about the 98% of Ngāpuhi? Right? So, tu Horonuku is an independent authority. It's a mandated authority. It's what the Crown recognises. And it's what Ngāpuhi is saying. We want to represent us. Because we need to do things at an iwi level. Because... It's at iwi level in the 21st century. That's how we operate. Because we are nations unto ourselves. Okay. Our hapu, our whanau come together as a massive conglomerate called iwi. And that's how we move. That's how we move forward. That's how we progress forward. And that's how we're going to do this. The things that we have faced. The hara, the raru, the sadness, the wars, the killing of our tupuna. All of that stuff that's happened in the last two centuries. Yes, it's not going to be all bam, bam, wham, thank you, ma'am, all finished um, when we have our settlements. No, that's something that's going to be continuing. But we need people that are going to stand up and say, we will talk for Ngāpuhi. We will speak for Ngāpuhi. And I'm saying to my whānau, in this video, and I'll say it to your face, I'll say it to anyone, tell to Horonuku what you want to be said. What you want to Horonuku to say to the Crown, as the Crown recognises them, Tell to Horonuku, because to Horonuku has been mandated to represent us. They have to represent us. I support to Horonuku, and I'm telling to Horonuku, I'm not warning, I'm saying to Horonuku, represent me, my interests, the interests of my whanau, my hapu, my iwi. I trust you implicitly to do so. Um, I runga ia wa tūmomo, tini a huatanga i tēnei rā tēnei ahau ki ka mihi ki ia ki ia o tātau. Uh, I rā, so yeah, those two issues, kura haurua, um, in Te Rengaprawa, and of course the mandated authority of Tu Horunuku, tēnā tātou katoa. This is my daily blog, um, well, my blog for today on the 21st of February, uh, 2014, tēnā tātou katoa.